Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Now let's get right to it. As my title states, can you run a hydraulic snowplow on a tractor without a third function valve? Well the answer is yes and I'm going to show you how I do it. Here is the plumbing that makes this possible. Uh, bear with me, I'll explain it. It looks kind of complicated, but um, once your mind gets wrapped around what's going on, it's, it's pretty simple. This tractor does have a third function valve. That's what these two hoses are for. This valve I put on a few years back when Dad got a clam bucket for this thing. So that needed to get installed. But this original setup like this, this was only for the snow plow and that's what I hooked it up for so we didn't want to spend the money yet to put the third function on. So I know you see that tape there and we're going to ask why you ain't just running the third function. Normally it is. The third function is always hooked up. This setup doesn't work anymore but I'm just putting this out here to show people that yeah, it, you can run a hydraulic plow without a third function. So here we go. We'll start from the tractor side. These two lines right here are for the boom cylinders. These two lines here are for the bucket cylinder. I removed the bucket cylinder quick connect lines here. These are auxiliary ones. And I put them back here, which has them hooked to the boom cylinder valve. The original boom lines that were hooked here, I moved up here to put on this crossover relief. I'll explain what the cross purpose of this crossover relief is for. It's specific to this tractor being it has a self-leveling uh, linkage on it. Um, we get some binding if I go too high with the loader, so that's what this does is to relieve the cylinders so they don't lift at full pressure. Now that the boom and bucket cylinders are combined, that frees up this spool, which was originally the bucket curl side of the valve, the left and the right. So with these free, now these I can hook these auxiliary lines to it, and they run the plow turn or the plow angle from left to right. Now that you know how the plumbing and mechanics of this system works, there's a few other modifications I did to really increase the usability of a front end plow on a tractor loader frame. Some people think you just put a plow on there and it's going to work great. Well, I tell you what, it doesn't. The first of these modifications was to put a set of tire chains on these front tires. These are studded chains because you'll find when you go to angle that plow this tractor is going to walk the opposite direction of where you want to push that snow. These tire chains keep it going nice and straight. The second modification was to add cylinder stops to the boom cylinder. So for these snap-on boom cylinder uh, stops to work effectively. I machined out this two-piece block here out of a piece of aluminum so it's got a nice flat surface for these blocks these cylinder stops to hit against. Reason being I want the loader weight to stay on the tractor. I don't want it to be on the plow. I want it to stay on the tractor. So these tire chains can work more effectively. I want this plow to work like it does on a regular pickup. Now that the bucket cylinders and boom cylinders are tied together, I need some way to hold these bucket cylinders from fully extending because the loader valve is in the float position. These chains hold this frame 
from laying all the way out. I made these straps around this cross boom bracket here. I think I made it out of like four inch well casing. I'll set up the camera and show you how it works. third modification is this custom quick attach frame. As you can see this is a regular Myers truck plow. One thing when I fabricate stuff I don't want to hack up the existing stuff. I want to keep it as original or if I want to repurpose it back on a pickup the plow will fit on a, an old western mount or a Myers mount. This frame is custom made. I've been making these for years. I actually have a jig table that makes this quick attach with the two angles. That makes this heavy box frame. It's three inch box tubing. Um, I can either make it out of quarter inch, three eighths, three sixteenths. This one's made out of quarter inch. And then I added this U-shape structure here. Is so the plow can sit back farther. This mount will not fit on a skid steer. It's designed specifically for the front end of these quick attach tractors. That U shape there, that'll hit the frame on the skid steer. But by having that, that keeps the plow back closer to the tractor. The closer I can keep this mow board to the center axle of them tires, that's less leverage that it can put on the frame when you're trying to drive straight. I want it as close as I can keep it to that front axle, but just close enough that the plow can make a full turn and not hit the frame here. Well, there you have it folks. You can run a hydraulic plow on a tractor without a third function. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.